morning. Welcome to day 14, Saturday, June 3rd, 2023. We left the campsite, the tent site, which is over there. I didn't want to record anything over there and disturb people, but another luxury, having a, a bathroom and a sink with running water and soap. So we're ultra clean this morning and we're gonna strike out on the AT heading north. First stop, Mount Pierce. It did rain last night. Things have cooled down a bit. It feels nice. There's a little bit of moisture in the air, but at least it's not like, it doesn't feel humid. So off we go. Welcome to Saturday, June 3rd, 2023 in the Whites. We made it to the summit of Mount Pierce. It's like kind of a light mist, but I think it's more just the clouds are covering the mountain. So there's a little bit of moisture. Um, it is, my thermometer's showing it's 45, but it's very, very comfortable because there's almost no wind, which was the forecast for today. So if that keeps up, it's not gonna be many views probably on this amazing ridge walk, but it'll be comfortable hiking with uh, pit stops at another hut and the uh, Visitor Center Summit building at Washington, hopefully, for some good treats. So we're gonna uh, keep motor on. We're kinda just getting started. It's a little after six in the morning. And our next stop is Eisenhower. Let's give you an idea of conditions this morning. Eisenhower is up there somewhere. That's where we're headed. All right, it's a little after seven in the morning and we are headed up the Eisenhower Loop. Mm, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see the mountain up there, but trust me, it's there and we're going to the top. All right, day 14. It's not quite 7.30 yet. Made it to the summit of Eisenhower and the views have opened up a little bit. Back there in the clouds, um, you can see Monroe and Washington is behind that, but Washington is really in the clouds. So that's the way we're headed. We came from over there. And for a minute or two, I could actually see Pierce. Now it's back in the clouds, but yeah, look at that. Look at the sky, pretty, pretty amazing. Even though I was getting soaked from all the uh, moisture on the um, trees, because there was almost no wind, very, very enjoyable. Um, there's a little bit of wind up here. There's always a little bit of wind, but as long as the winds stay low um, and the views are opening up a bit, this could turn out to be a really uh, nice, unusual day to be up here for uh, some of the prezies, the southern, the southern half, and Washington, as we uh, slowly make our way towards isolation, and we'll hit the other half of the prezies, Madison, Jefferson, and Adams, um, a few days from now. So that's the update. I'm going to uh, head on down, and there's an unofficial 4,000 footer Franklin. We'll go over Mount Franklin and head towards Monroe and Lake of the Clouds Hut. Um, hopefully, we might be able to get some, something good there. We'll see. Well, once we came down from Eisenhower, we got back in the soup. So, pretty foggy and uh, maybe when we get to the top of Monroe, we'll have some views again. Time will tell. All right, day 14 update. We made it to the start of the Mount Monroe Loop. It's around 8.30 in the morning. Had a few um, 
hikers past me heading towards Eisenhower and we're gonna get up and over Monroe. Hiking's been really nice. The only uh, issue is slightly pruny fingers just from the moisture, but otherwise really nice. And maybe uh, the clouds will roll out again at some point. We'll see. What's up guys? Day 14. <laughs> just met some, uh, a couple guys doing the presidential traverse. Chatted for a while. Always nice to see friendly faces up here because you can't see much else with the clouds. leftovers. Awesome. All right. Just had an awesome half hour break at Lake of the Clouds Hut. The timing worked out perfectly where they had some free leftover breakfast, some nice hearty oatmeal and sausage patties with a little syrup. Man, a hot breakfast on a day like today. You can't beat it. There's Lake of the Clouds right behind me. I don't think we're going to be able to see it once we get back up in the fog. We're like slightly sheltered from the wind right here. So we're going to march on over to Washington. Um, we'll see how much footage I get. If it's like really windy and cold, there might not be much, but see what I can do. Check in later. Day 14. It's about 10. We're getting closer and closer to the tippity top of this project. Stay tuned. What's up? Day 14 of our Neurotissima. Peak number 36 at the tippity top. Nice to see today. We're just going to be warm food and hot coffee down in the visitor center. So that's where we're headed. See you there. Woo! What a day. What a day. Day 14, we're in the Mount Washington uh, State Park Food Service area. We got some hot chocolate, hot coffee, bunch of snacks, and it's five minutes until pizza is served. So we're gonna wait for that, I think, and have a couple slices before we make our way to isolation. Awesome. Look at this, hot out of the oven. It was worth the wait. So we're gonna scarf this down and then we gotta get moving. We've been uh, hanging out here a little longer than I would want to, but it's worth the wait for hot pizza. All right, we passed the intersection with Lionhead. We're heading to the um, lawn cutoff and the sun actually tried to come out for a second or two. We're sheltered from the wind here, so it's uh, very nice hiking. A lot of people headed up, um, I think are a little surprised by conditions today, maybe a tad underdressed, but nothing too serious. Um, yeah, we march on. We had a couple of um, loads of the auto, the cog rail come in, plus some auto road drivers, so the most people I've seen in a while, but just people watching can always be uh, entertaining. But now we're back to isolation towards this mountain isolation. See if we see anyone here. I'm not betting we will, but you never know. All right, we made it to the long cutoff. Next stop, Davis Path. All right, we made it to Davis Path. We're gonna keep on climbing. How are we climbing? We should be going down. The video doesn't do it justice. This has got to be the tallest Karen in the whites. Do you know a bigger one? I don't think so. Prove me wrong. It is huge. It's over six feet tall and it's always there. All right, we made it to the Boot Spur Trail Junction. We've got another half mile to the Glen Boulder Junction. 
Woo, let's go. All right, we made it to the Glen Boulder Trail Junction. On to isolation. It's around 12.30 in the afternoon, so let's do it. All right, so close. We just gotta climb up this and we'll be at the summit. See you there. All right, day 14 update. We made it to the summit of isolation. There's a little bit of clearing towards Washington behind me. Whew. For the most part, Davis Path was okay. There were definitely some muddy sections. I definitely plopped in some mud, unfortunately, but that's how she goes. All right, feeling good. Gonna start making our way back and starting to think about uh, camp. But first we gotta get back to the Glen Boulder Trail Junction and that is quite a ways away. So let's go get it. All right, we've been climbing for a while. We're at about 4,500 feet to connect to Glen Boulder Trail on Davis Path, but the sun came out. So we're giving our feet a well-deserved airing because they really haven't gotten one today and definitely went through some water and mud um, heading towards isolation. So feels good to let them uh, air out for 10 minutes and the sun feels good. I don't think it's gonna last long, at least at this elevation, maybe when we get lower. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna camp tonight. Um, when I did this last year, I camped about a quarter mile, a little more than a quarter mile, maybe a half mile from the road off Glen Boulder. Um, if I see something before that today, I'll snag it, but I do need water. And there is water at that site. So we'll see, we'll play it by ear. I got plenty of daylight and I'm gonna have, Sarah's coming tomorrow at nine, woohoo! So I'm sure I'll be up early as always, but I can have a later day today just because I don't need to get up early tomorrow because I'm gonna wait around for Sarah for a resupply. So it's just strolling on a Saturday in the whites. I did see one hiker coming back from isolation as I was headed there, which I was surprised, but no one else since um, I turned off Davis Path for isolation, which is not a surprise, I guess, on a day like today. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Another long hours of hiking, long mileage, but I did have real two really nice breaks. One at Lake of the Clouds and one at Mount Washington uh, food court. And I normally wouldn't take breaks that long, so I can hike a little longer as well because I did uh, give myself a nice rest in between there. So that's where we're at. Uh, we're gonna put these wet socks and trail runners on in a few minutes and get back up to the Glen Boulder Trail so we can start working our way down. That's what this project's all about, ups and downs. We were at 6288 and we went all the way down to 4,000 to get isolation and we went lower than 4,000 and then climbed up to isolation. And now we're climbing back up the other way. I think we're gonna hit around 5,000 feet before we start heading down again, so. Lots of elevation gain and loss, which I think is more um, challenging than the miles, right? So that's where we're at. Check in later. Goodbye, Presidential Range, Dry River Wilderness Area. All right, we made it to the trail junction. We climbed up to it. We're at about 5,200 feet. Let's get down out of this muck and maybe into sunny skies, maybe? At least let's get out of this nasty stuff. All right, it's getting close to 6 p.m. I am exhausted. Gonna go a little further to get a camp, but couldn't pass up the namesake of our project. This little side trail is called the Diratissima and what we're doing, 48 and one continuous walk, the Diratissima. There you go. All right, sorry for the uh, poor
poor lighting, but it's getting late. It's way past my bedtime. It's like 7.30. Um, got the tent set up. Made some decaf. Have some soup, some ramen soup going here. Gonna probably have a nice thing of mashed potatoes with some bacon jerky. What a day, man. Um, started hiking bef bef around 5.30 and didn't stop till after 6.30. And a huge day in the Prezies, right? Pierce, Eisenhower, Monroe, Washington, and then we even added isolation on at the end. And all that was great. Um, coming down Glen Boulder Trail, I forgot how um, not exactly pleasant that is after a long day of hiking. Um, cause that, because the, everything's kind of slippery from the rain and with my trail runners being uh, pretty much shot and also wet and muddy. Um, they weren't too grippy, so just slow going coming down Glen Boulder. Um, but we're camped probably, I don't know, um, not quite a half mile from the road. The great thing was I had cell service because last, um, last year I camped pretty much in the same spot and didn't have it. This year it does that thing where it says SOS only and then I get one bar of LTE with Verizon. Um, so can't like send iMessages but can send text messages. So I was able to check in with Sarah, just firm up, um, resupply, see Sarah tomorrow at 9 a.m. or around there, woohoo, with McDonald's. <laughs> Between the Lake of the, what a day, man. Between the Lake of the Clouds, free breakfast, nice hearty oatmeal and some sausage patties, but the syrup that they had with it was mm, so good. And then pizza. I actually waited for the pizza. Initially they were gonna start opening at 11 and they had some kind of delay. It was 11.15, it was 11.20. I was not leaving without the pizza. <laughs> and it was worth it, trust me. Um, yeah, wow. Five peaks, including Washington. And um, just a great day, just a fantastic day. Um, it really has cooled down, so it definitely is soup weather, which I like very much. I'm really looking forward to this ramen soup um, and a good night's sleep. And I'm sure I'll be up early as usual, but I'm in no rush if I'm what at the most 45 minute hike to the trailhead. And Sarah won't be here till around nine. Um, yeah, I'd probably ramble more, but um, the lighting is so bad. Maybe uh, we'll touch base in the morning. There was some other cool stuff that happened. Um, maybe we'll talk about it in the morning. For now, day 14's a wrap. And we'll see you tomorrow for day 15 and a resupply. Oh, yeah.